Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, good evening, friends of Gawad Kalinga, uh, supporters and advocates for the poor. Um, this is Donna Reyes again for another episode of Quentong GK. And um, this evening, we have the pleasure of chatting with um, Lani Diamse of CCAD. Hello, Lani. Or should I? Hi. Should I call you Dr. Lani Diamsi with the scrubs? No. Your... <laughs> so sorry. Uh, I'm at work. But hello, everyone. I guess it's a good afternoon here where I'm at. So it's good afternoon, good evening, good morning, wherever you're at. Wherever our audience is, right? No wherever one... you are. Exactly. Because, uh, you know, on Facebook and social media, and now that we are able to do Zoom, right, uh, Dr. Lani and I, we were just talking about how, you know, all this technology is a little bit too much and overwhelming for us. And, you know, it took us a while to get this up and running uh, for this evening, but we're on and that's the most important thing. We did it. <laughs> we did it. We were trying to figure out, right, how to we get the background, the virtual background that Lani has over there. Yeah. And that's why you see her on and off the, the screen. Maybe yeah. if you come a little bit closer to the camera, um, Lani, maybe that will work a little bit better. And then maybe less movement. There we go. Okay. There we go. Now we can yeah, see her pretty face. All okay. right. I, okay. I, oh, God, have mercy. Should have combed so my hair at least or something. Yeah. So Lani, uh, Lani is, uh, is one of the organizers of CCAD and also the area director for Gawad Kalinga in Orange County. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. Awesome. So yes. let's share with them this poster of the, uh, of the event that, you know, CCAD, CCAD is actually the, the event and it's organized by a group of people. And Lani is going to share with us a little bit about that later on. But um, we wanted to share this um, information with all of you. Uh, CCAD virtual bike ride that is going on on October 9th, starting tomorrow through the 31st. And it is a fun and fun, uh, a fun fundraising event, right, to fight hunger. Right, your uh, your group is raising funds to um, benefit the uh, Be a Hunger Warrior campaign of Gawad Kalina, and that will be feeding children 12 years and below for 120 days. All it takes is $60 to feed one child, right, for 20 days. So, friends, uh, please support this uh, CCAD virtual bike ride from October 9th. To 31st, and we will, you know, share more information as we go on with our episode this evening. So, Lani, uh, please, you know, give us a little bit of information about, you know, I guess, you know, well, first of all, before we even get to information about CCAD and, you know, how long this this uh, event has been going on, we see that you're wearing scrubs, right? You are a dentist. How are you holding up with that? <laughs> yes. Um, well, we're getting back to, I, I can't say normal, but we're getting back. Uh, we just hope that we're not going to be shut down again. Uh, to be honest, we can't afford to shut down again, but we're, ho we're, we're holding steadily, steadily. We'll get that. Awesome. Well, that's, that's good to know. And of course, you know, we want you to stay safe and healthy. Oh, you know, we understand the challenges of, you know, of a, you know, running a business, right? Trying to stay afloat and everything. Um, but, you know, people need to take care of their teeth and dental hygiene, right? Exactly. Too. So, right. So, um, you know, I'm, I'm pretty sure you're, you're doing um, all precautions, making sure that all of your patients are safe and you are safe and your staff is safe, obviously, right? So, um, yes, aside yes. from being a dentist, you had been involved with this um, event, the CCAD, uh, well, not virtual, it's only virtual this year, but the CCAD Ride event for many years. So, tell us a little bit about what CCAD is exactly. Okay, well, to, I don't want to take the credit for the CCAD. CCAD was founded by a group of guys, actually, uh, what, what my husband is one of them and um about 
gosh, 15 years ago. There's, I think there's about seven people, seven guys that decided, you know, since we like writing, we might as well uh, do something good because really they, they felt like they're just wasting their energy for no reason. So uh, they came up with the ride about, like I said, about 14, 15, 15, 15 years ago, actually. But then the first year it never happened because we had to go, they had to go through all the planning and we didn't know how complicated it was. And then the second year is when they finally decided um, that, they, that we were going to do it. And it, it started with, I want to say about, 30 people, uh, it's, all, it's all us, the husbands, the wives, the children. Um, some of the children can't even ride two wheels. So uh, that's how it started. We raised a little bit of money, but most, most of the, the, the thing that we were concerned about is we wanted to raise awareness. And so that's how it started about 14 years ago. And we're so excited. We've had struggles um especially this year we didn't think we were going to be able to do it uh just like you and i were trying to figure out how to do all these new technology thing we didn't know whether we were going to be able to do the, the virtual we didn't know what a virtual event will be so but we are excited and we're so glad that it's going people are so excited to help out and so we're 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 blessed. We are we're we're here and we're still going and we we will try to continue the Seekad um, event every year as long as we have the energy, right? Well, I, I think we have we still have a lot of juice left, right? Between you and, <laughs> yeah. and, and I'm pretty sure yeah. you know the the young ones people in your team in your Sika team has a lot of juice left still, right? But it looks it like it was right. something that you know started with you know maybe with limited resources, but it seems like it started with a lot of heart. And I think you know that's really important, and that seems to be the nature of and the nature of what Gawad Kalina really is all about, right? A lot of um, a lot of groups and a lot of individuals would start with you know with just a little dream of being able yeah. to build a home, right, or feed the child, right, in your case. And, you know, and then they end up doing great things, right? Like when you started back in, when was it? What year was it again? You oh said God. you've been Do the calculation for, for me. That's so, 2005, was it when you started? Yeah. Right. So like back in 2005, you probably did not even, you know, uh, envision that it was going to be going on for 15 years, right? And nope. it sounded just a, you know, just a fun thing to do with a family, with your little children at the time, and they're all grown up now, right? And they're still, yeah. and it's still sikading. <laughs> it's still yeah. going. So, me see papa, right? So, that's that's awesome. Awesome. Papa Jakpa. so that's, that's quite, you know, that's quite a story and a journey for you guys, and it's still going strong, right? And so, okay, so when, um, when you started this group, you said you only had a you know bunch of people, maybe thirty people, right? It has grown to how many now? How many participants uh, do you have like on on an average year? Well, this this yeah, this year I, with the virtual, I think we're gonna hit about two hundred participants. Okay. A few years ago, I think the yeah, I think our biggest one was almost five hundred participants. So. Um, it varies every year. Every year is different. Sometimes it's, it's because of the weather as well. Although we are very lucky here in California that, you know, most people uh, can predict what the weather will be at a certain time. But right. um, it's actually, like I said, this year, it's about 200 participants. We will have 200 participants. So yeah, we're excited. We didn't What's even. What's the most we number of people? We gonna be... What's the most number of people um, partic who participated in a in a given in a like a given year? Almost five hundred. Oh my goodness, 
from the yeah. 30 people who are who are mostly your family and kids and, yeah. and that right now it, it has grown to 500 and you're doing an average of maybe like 300 is that what you said mm -hmm. uh, 300 on average isn't that amazing like, awesome. yeah it is amazing that is such that an is accomplishment and for this yeah. year considering the limitations brought about by the pandemic you know, having 200 participants, you know, that's a lot, right? And so we, I know we, we didn't said, expect that. Really? Okay. And how, how do they, because were they repeat participants from previous years or do you have any, or do you know if there are any new um, participants? Many, many of our participants, most of the participants are uh, repeat writers. I call them repeat writers. They have been supporting us since the very beginning uh we've had writers that like i said have started since maybe the maybe the fifth year and they've been going and writing with us every single year uh it's amazing that people that these writers have stuck with us um through you know high winds dry season fire season, uh, rainy season. We had one time where it was drizzling. We had one time where it was so hot, no one can ride. Uh, but yeah, they've stuck with us. This year though is a little different and we're so excited. This is so different because we actually have writers from different states because it's virtual. People actually can register and what we do is we just mail them the jersey. If you look at my background, that is actually the cycling jersey that we're um, using for this event. But yes, this is exciting. We actually have um, a few from the Philippines that wow. are joining the, the event. Um, and I'm sure everyone here at GK knows um, Luis and Mark. Uh -huh. So they, they, Mark is actually registered already. Uh, Luis it promised, okay, if Luis is listening, <laughs> promised that he was going to register. So it's, it's amazing. We have people from Florida. Let me remember Florida, Texas, uh, DC. Uh, gosh, where else? There's, there's a few. Um, How about Boston? Up north. Is there anyone from Boston? There's, yes, Boston. I forgot. Thank you. Boston, <laughs> Chicago. That's Chicago. right. I forgot about your place. Yes. Yes. So it's really, really exciting this year, although it's an uncharted, you know, Territory. ground. Yeah. Um, but hey, we're doing it. And it's amazing how people's hearts are open. Yeah. It doesn't matter what you do because really, it's 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 like well they don't really have to do it because there is no ride ride that we can support that we will be physically there to give them food right, to give right. them support if they have uh problems with cycling but people are willing to just help because okay. they know well um, tell us obviously you know is, if it were is, is a regular it. event where you know, you have, you know, you're going to be writing with a group, right, of people. This is going to be a virtual event. Tell us exactly how this works, right? From mm -hmm. registering, how do they register? And what do they do after registering? How, you know, ex how, how does it work exactly? First of all, how do they register? Uh-oh, did I okay. lose you? Okay, there we go. Okay. Okay. First of all, you I think just your connection is really, is really low. Your signal is really and low. And everything will be there. You just click. Okay, am I back? You're back, but then you're, you you freeze from time to time. I don't know about I'm your like, Wi-Fi I'm using my phone. That's probably or if you have, why. If you're using your, am your I still? Cellular, cellular data for your connection. Yeah, yep. Yep. You are using but your cellular Wi-Fi for here connection or office. your Wi-Fi? Yeah. My, no, my cellular, because my Wi-Fi is worse here at the office. Oh, okay. If so I that's switch, it'll connection. be worse. Okay. okay. Yeah. Just so, give me one second. <laughs> All right. That's... Here I'm we go. monitoring on the left. Here we go again, right? All right. Sorry, guys. For those of, us, for those of you who are watching us, 
I mean, I, I could I could understand what you were explaining, um, but there's a little bit of delay and your signal is quite low. OK, OK, so let's let's start from the beginning. How do they register? OK, so if you want to, to join us for the virtual ride, you just go to Sika.org. That's our website, and it will lead you to a registration page. And then it goes to a registration page and you just fill out the information and we will either mail you the jersey that you see behind in my background uh -huh. or you can pick it up. We, you know, you call us and you can pick it up from the office. Uh -huh. You can do your ride whenever you want to do it. Like I said, a lot of people already started. Um, rolling we said th they've already started writing since last weekend uh, but we have the whole month to for them to be able to write and then um, what they do is that they just tag us on Sika Dambayan and then put hashtag Sika 2020 and um, hashtag be a hunger warrior so we can kind of see them on um, all the social media that uh, they posted on okay oh, yeah that's simple enough so yep. how much is the registration fee? Registration is fifty dollars. Okay. And it comes with yeah, it comes with the jersey that I'm talking about. Okay. So it's not bad. Yeah. And they're not required to raise uh funds or is there a minimum or whatever funds? No. They okay. do not we we're not requiring anyone to raise funds, but we do ask and that if they can donate something um on the page as well they can do the donation they can do a donation however small but you are not they're not obliged to donate just okay. for the 50 dollars. yeah so you know well at, at the very least right they are able to spread awareness about what exactly. Gawakalinga does and that we are trying to fight hunger by feeding children by right, 12 years old mm -hmm. and below so if we get a word out right even if they're not able to spare you know, some you know, something for to donate themselves. They can, you know, they can let their, their friends know and their families know, or even by posting via social media, they will be exactly. able to, um, you know, you guys will be able to um, spread the word about, you know, what Gawad Galina is doing to fight hunger, uh, especially amongst the poorest of the poor in the Philippines. All right, so then if you don't require the the writers to raise any funds how do you raise funds you know to benefit um you know the the to benefit gawad Kanina and the, the children who are hungry okay so sikad was um established how do i say it so all the funds whenever sikad has an event all those registration money that we get mm -hmm. gets gets to gk and whatever um cost that we decide for that year like mm -hmm. this year we decided we will go uh do the be a hunger warrior mm -hmm. so whatever we raise for this ride will be put on the be a hunger warrior campaign okay however so do much you, it is do yeah. you get any um sponsors to you know to raise money to yes raise funds also okay yeah and can you do you know i'm not sure if we have it on the on the poster i don't think we have it on it's the on the seek yeah if you go to seeka.org it's not on the poster if you go to seeka.org all the major sponsors are listed on our web page okay so uh, yeah, other than the registration, we actually have, yeah, we actually have sponsors um, and we put their names on the, on the jersey so that it would serve as their um, advertisement, marketing, uh, whatever they want to call it. But yeah, we do have several sponsors. So if you guys can uh, uh, look at our website, you can take a look at all our major long, you know. If, if so for those companies out it's there, business, right, they can visit Sika.org and you will see, you know, how your how the sponsors mm -hmm. are, you know, are get some mileage also on the website 
in addition to the jersey, right? Because they're listed on SICA.org website, right? So I'm not sure if there's any room for this year for corporate sponsors to, you know, to donate or be a part of this to promote their business, but they can certainly, you know, make a donation to support a worthwhile cause, right? And and so obviously, you know, um, that is also good um, CSR for companies, right? Corporate social responsibility. Yes. yes. Awesome. So it's, okay. it's never too late for all for the businesses. Right, exactly. It's never too late for the, for all these businesses to be a part of it, whether it's a corporate, you know, sponsor or, you know, just to make a donation. Either way, you know, you're helping you're helping fight hunger in the Philippines. At the same time, you know, you're you're building goodwill also for your organization or for your company. So it's a win-win all around, I think. Okay, so earlier, Lani, you mentioned about how, you know, writers will you know, keep coming back. They're repeat writers. I think it's what you call them. I forget. But, you know, they keep coming back and participating and everything. And, you know, and whether that's, you know, no matter what the weather is or no matter what the risks are and everything, they keep coming back, right? So I have a couple of questions. One is, you know, um, well, this year, you know, it's a virtual event. So pretty much, you know, they set up on their own, they write on their own. But, you know, just something maybe even to, you know, look forward to hopefully next year, mm -hmm. you know, things go back to normal, just as everybody wishes, right? But do you, like on a normal, regular um, event, sacred event, do you have any, um, you know, people or staff or group of people who are taking care yep. of, like, you know, emergencies or maybe medical needs, you know? Okay, so that's where that core group, we call them a, a, a CICAD core group. Um, it, it's still those, those same people, the husbands and wives that started the whole thing. So during the actual CICAD event, at normal CICAD event, um, we have, we have, I wanted to tell you, SAG support, which is, um, stop and go support and that's what we provide for all the riders we have volunteers well first of all we have our families that we make volunteers uh -huh. <laughs> they have to volunteer you volunteered to them um, so <laughs> hey yeah we tell them that they have to volunteer but um when it comes to emergencies we always make sure that we have nurses available, doctors are available if there's anything. Um, we have repair guys that, that would repair their, uh, their tires if they get flat tires. Nurses that will be able to check your blood pressure or if you get scratched or injured, hopefully not. Um, someone will be taking care of you. Um, you know, what else? Oh, and people that will feed you. That is why they keep coming back. We actually feed them on um, before, in the middle, and after their ride. So what is a Filipino event without it's, food, it's, it's, right? It's, it's gotta be food. The whole ride. Exactly. <laughs> okay. It's gotta be so, food. Okay, How so. You know if there's no food? Right. So it's uh, it's 731 right now. Um, but before we give the information again, um, in addition to making sure, you know, like doing your best to make sure that the runners and that runners, riders are as safe as possible, you know, taking care of all the logistics that obviously, you know, you're, you're handling professionally, even though you said you started, you know, with just the support of your families. Uh, families and friends, right? Um, the people you mentioned are obviously professionals, right? Like nurses and, you know, and all that stuff, right? But in addition to that, I think there's a there's another reason why writers keep coming back and, mm -hmm. and you know, and participating in this event. And I think that is because they can write anytime they want, if they really, if that's their hobby and they write anyway, right? But they come back and join Seacide every year um, maybe because of a different reason, and I would venture to say that it might have something to do with the fact that you are doing this to benefit a cause larger than going beyond ourselves, right? Going beyond the hobby of biking, you know, while you're enjoying the ride and everything, you know, people are actually, actually get the chance to be a part of something 
something big, making a difference, right, in the lives mm -hmm. of people who are going hungry, especially right now with what's going on with the pandemic. So many people, you know, have lost their jobs, right? And, um, and so they are unable to provide for basic things like food, you know, for their family. And so, you know, um, there's still time, right, to register for this event. Yes. Um, so I'd like to, why, why don't you go ahead and invite them to register and I will flash on the screen right here again, the information for it. Okay, so there is definitely still time to register. If you go um, on Sika.org, uh, you can register there. It's a simple registration process. Um, it's not going to take you through a whole bunch of paperwork. Very simple. We made it as simple as possible. So uh, it's uh, friendly to everyone. Um, it, Like I said, it will run until the end of October. At the same time, October 10th, I believe, is when Be a Hunger Warrior campaign will start. So they will go hand in hand. Um, the Be a Hunger campaign is actually to feed 10,000 uh, children for 120 days. So we're trying to raise funds for for that campaign. And so CCAD is, is like I said, donating that portion, whatever we raise for that um, Be a Hunger campaign. So please, please help out. Uh, or at least check out our website, uh, at least check out some of the information and some of the things that are happening. It's never too late uh, to, to uh, be a supporter. Uh, it's also, I, I was trying to, um, when you mentioned corporate uh, sponsors, um, it might, it's too late to put your names on the back of the jerseys right now, but definitely if you are interested to be in the jersey so that when, when our writers go out there, um, they can see your logo, they can see your name, uh, please let us know. We can include you for next year. All right. So, yes. Well, thank you. Oh, and one more thing. One more thing. Go um, ahead. Also, I have, we have a lot of, uh, we have a lot of um, different states that are calling us and calling me and Maricel to set up their own second ride. So that is very exciting. Um, hopefully, our goal is actually to have second rides in every state so that That's we can awesome. promote the amazing. cause and we can promote. Yeah. All right. Chicago well, is actually, actually, I'm in contact. Oh, yeah. Uh, who in Chicago? Yeah. Oh gosh, oh she's oh uh Bucci is that the oh Bucci in Palido. Okay, so you yeah. mentioned okay. you mentioned four names, all right? Just to because I mean most of the people who are watching our episode are Quentin GK, are you know, our followers of the Gawad Kalinga USA Facebook page. But just in case that because this is available to the public, just in case they do not know all of those people you mentioned, and okay. also just to call out their names, just to make sure that they follow through what they promised you, right? Uh, hello, Luisa Kenyana, our chairman of Gawad Kalina, <laughs> and Mark Lawrence Cruz, right, who is leading our uh, Cusina ng Kalinga, right? Um so Lani is holding you guys accountable. You said you are going to ride. So we are counting on you to ride along with the CCAD uh, group, right? Virtual events um, this couple, this next couple of weeks, right? And then also you mentioned Maricel. I, I, Maricel is, my, that's Maricel Barreiro Villanueva, who is the executive director for Gawad Kalinga USA. And what Lani was talking about earlier was that um, she and Maricel are talking about bringing CCAD to other states as well. So for all you area directors out there, please reach out to Dr. Lani Diamse or uh, Maricel Villanueva if you are interested in bringing this CCAD event into your area and they will help you, you know, lay it out and uh, set it up for you. 
And then you mentioned uh, Buche and Pelido. Kuya Buche is actually from my area. I'm from Chicago. So Kuya Buche, we have to start <laughs> soon. Um, <laughs> You know, Dr. Lani's counting on you and obviously, you know, all the people um, in the Philippines, especially those who are, you know, getting sick and even dying of hunger, really need our help. Um, Gawad Kalinga is launching its Be a Hunger Warrior campaign starting, I believe, on October 10th, I think is or yeah, 10th is when they're launching it. So be a part yeah. of it. Please help us spread the word out. Use mm -hmm. the use the hashtag Be a Hunger Warrior and help us spread the word out. And if you can participate in the ride, you know, that will be that will be good for your health, for your body, also good for your soul, because you will be able to help a hungry child, right? To feed a hungry child. And that only takes $60 to feed one hungry child for 120 days, right? And then of course, you know, if you can make a donation, please go to CCAD.org. Dot org, or you can also check out Gawad Kaninga's Facebook page, right? Uh, please uh, follow us on Facebook, GKUSA. And um, that is it for us this evening. Thank you for joining us. We apologize for the technical issues that we're having, you know, from just getting us all started and with the low signal and everything. We appreciate your patience with us and please uh, continue to join us every Thursday night at 5 p.m. here at Quantum GK. And this has been Donna Reyes with Dr. Lani Beyonce of CCAD. Have a good evening, everyone. Bye-bye. Good evening. Bye.